Hey guys, this is Kieran, and this is a tutorial on RGB Split. I used it in my previous video, the Hardcore Headquarters trailer, and you want 1280 by 59 frames per second, and yeah, not much to it. It doesn't really matter right now. And now I'm going to import your clip in, and oops, I have an effect there back in, and you want to delete the audio track and now duplicate this track with the clip in it twice just like this you go right click on the track and duplicate now you will want to go to video effects and go to channel blend should be right here and for the top track go to red only the second track green only and the third track blue only self-explanatory and now go to compositing mode screen and you want the net well all the layers have to be screen just like how i did it here and on the top clip click pan crop and drag it in just a smidgen to your liking and yeah it doesn't really matter i just chose whatever just to show you how it looked and now you are going to want to go to color curves and uh, I have a preset, but click reset to none. I'll show you in a second. You just click to drag and move your line like this, and you can change the color, RGB, and everything. Now, you'll want to. Mine is here. This is. I'll just show you my preset. Uh, yeah. Um, there's nothing t done on the RBG channel. Just go to red. You drag it like this. And then green. You drag it almost like the red, but you can customize it to your liking for each map, clip, cinematic, whatever, and blue like this, and save it as a preset, whatever you want, I chose RBG, RGB, and drag it into the rest of your tracks, like this, and now you're going to want to go stay on color curves, reset to none, and for RGB channel, you want to drag it somewhat like this, and, but I already have, of course, a preset, and yeah, just like that, save it, and then drag it into the rest of the tracks just like the first one now I am going to see what it looks like throughout the clip so far yep and as I'm doing this I'll explain to you that this is not a live voiceover commentary this is as I'm watching the clip after I rendered it out I commentated over the tutorial if you get what I mean I don't think I made sense and yes, this clip I think is going to be in my hardcore community page. Yay. Um, you don't get to see the actual clip. Uh, well, the main kill. And go to Color Corrector, Studio RGB, and all the clips. And now go to. Well, if you have Magic Bullet Lux, you can just add a vignette easily. But I'll show you without plugins. Just to be nice to everyone that doesn't know how to get them. You're going to want to reset to none, but I have a preset here, but you guys reset to none. This is now you go to Vignette. Well, effect, you want to pull everything down to zero, and on Vignette, go to black. And the strength around 40-ish depends on how dark you want it. And the blue will get fixed after. You drag it into the rest of the tracks, and you want the softness to whatever. Same as mine, basically. doesn't have to be exact and you save it as a preset, drag it into the rest of the tracks yeah I think I'd want it a bit darker than that so mm -hmm. I'll probably show you guys how to do it with the magic bullet looks for you that have it I made a tutorial on how to get magic bullets and yes I'll give you guys a download in the description on my next tutorial and everything uh, now go to your magic bullets default Scroll down to Vignette, apply it, and yeah, I say I saved it as a preset, so it's easier. You don't have to keep clicking down, scrolling, whatever. And you want to drag that into the rest of the tracks. Don't worry, you don't have to do this. You can use the other Vignette if you don't have it. It almost looks just as good. And now go to Soft Contrast, and you're going to want to reset to none. I have a preset, and I'll show you how to do it. You just drag the strength to 100, horizontal blur, maybe around 13, 15, whatever, it doesn't really matter, depending on how you like it. And 
Yeah, just my settings like this should make it look really nice. And you will want to go to effect, put everything to zero, just like the last one. And oh, make sure it's on blur, not black. I'll show you. Oh, it just reset. Um, just dragging it back to around 15. Uh, oops, I want it to be exact. It doesn't have to be. And now, yeah, there's the blur. And I think that is just about it. Uh, the RGB does look a bit too much. Like, see how the red's screaming out from the blue? You might want to fix that. Well, you don't have to. Yes. I just personally don't like it that much. So I'll just drag it in a bit like that. And yeah, this has been my tutorial on how to do an RGB split on Sony Vegas with no plugins. Yes, it can be done easily. And yeah, to get audio back, just import the clip, delete the raw, the track where the clip is, and there's the audio. And yes, you want to select it all. I just click best full. And you'll go to render as main concept ABC this is my settings or I've there's many other better settings this is just a quick easy one default template custom 1280 by 720 the usual 59.94 oh oh six oh FPS and yeah it's not saved as a preset but yeah um, you'll want to put the uh, VPS to 14 million and average VPS to 14 million oh sorry about that whistle and that is it now I just render this out and good luck peace